USD study abroad students are interviewed on the Salt Lake City campus communicating in American Sign Language. Photos from the trip showing the famous landmarks and the tours they took are also shown. So before we went to India, we really studied a lot about the Indian culture, the language, the different food that was there. We also studied about the rules of their society. We really wanted to respect their culture and the practices that they had set in place, especially for their religious locations. So we studied that to make sure we were behaving appropriately. Being able to see the Taj Mahal in person, right, it was very white and it was impressive to know that they had built that with their hands and they had carved things in the Taj Mahal. So there were lots of different designs. Sometimes they were flowers or animals or animals like an elephant, right? There were lots of different designs carved into the Taj Mahal. So while we were in India, we got to see an elephant and touch an elephant. We got to feed the elephant their favorite kind of fruit. I don't remember what it was exactly, but the elephant really took it from our hand really quickly, which was fun. So being in India, there were lots of experiences that I had that I was not expecting, right? The traffic, it seemed to be very aggressive. There weren't lines on the road to separate directions of traffic. They didn't have any of that. and. People were just driving all over the road and they didn't get into accidents, which was really lucky and crazy to think about. So on our trip, we did get to interact with other deaf individuals. They don't use ASL and so we really tried to communicate with gestures or other types of nonverbal communication and they did the same. So we learned a few basic words and signs, but most of our interactions were visual and gesture based. And there are some words that are similar between Indian Sign Language and ASL, but it never was really difficult to communicate with those individuals, right? We made sure that we could all understand each other. It was really cool to learn the different signs in their language. Right, and to really see how iconic it was and how it really matched the visualness of what it looked like. Right, I know that sometimes in ASL we use letters in some of our signs, but for the Indian Sign Language it was a lot more visual. So going abroad to India, it was really shocking to see the different types of clothing and the languages that, that they were speaking. And it really changed my life to be able to see those things and learn about their culture. So if another student wanted to do a study abroad, I would definitely encourage them to do that. There's lots of things that they can learn and being exposed to different parts of culture and rules and things, right, is really beneficial. Sometimes it can be tricky learning the rules of that culture, but it's worth it to experience those things and it's important for people to go and study abroad.